effect on society Blood makes the darkness come out Violence makes my dogs and harder Searching your best to all that Don't know 
stood for over an hour watching this man dicking my truck down, detailing not only the exterior, but the interior as well with his impressive genitalia. And after bringing my lowly truck back to a showroom shine, a mighty inadequacy overwhelmed my entire being right there in the Piggly Wiggly parking lot, and I died. And I, and I died. And I died. And I died. It's what the fans want. 
Yo, bro. But we have those fans already. I want to branch out to new fans. Already have the abused, angst-ridden foster kids. We need to branch out to other kids. Yeah, those are those are the best fans. But they're already fans. They're going to stick with it. But look, you can use this as a form of therapy. I've done that for three albums already, and it's time to move on. Yeah, like, I just, just record the song about it, that time that that babysitter sound. That's what I want to hear about it. The fans want to hear about it. But they've already heard it. I mean, that shit totally fucked me up, and I I just got over it on the last tour. And you're making me go back to that spot, and I just can't do that. <laughs> I love you, and we get the best workout, but, but, but we can't keep doing this. You know, you're the most talented person I've ever worked with, and I just really think that, that you shouldn't short yourself by not completing the song about that time that the babysitter sat on your face and grinded on your face. When you were, after you're doing, you're doing macaroni art, you're making it, Mother's Day was coming up, right? Don't bring up the macaroni, man. I can't go down and eat pasta aisle in any grocery store in Bakersfield without just being traumatized. Curling into a fetal position and pissing myself on the floor until the management has to drag me out by my feet. It's really embarrassing, and that's really saying something. In Bakersfield. Every time I make an album with you, man, I have to use all the royalty checks and the tour money on therapy to get over what you made me write. Like the first time, it was okay. I needed to get it out. The second time, fine, we'll relive it one more time. But I can't keep doing this. This is like the sixth time. Like, hey, bro, bro, I think I think what's going on here is you just don't realize how talented you are and that you need to write that. You need to... Just go in there and record that song. Record it. What's the next what's the next line's about? Make my birthday sound make corny, corny, corny songs. Always about getting molested. I wanna die. So I get out of the booth. Hey, ask what happened. Then do it swipe and so I can say it's a rock shot. Yo man, yo, that was fucking great. Shit. I mean, but you know what, man? Was it really that bad? I mean, I wasn't getting that much action when I was five. Oh, fuck, why do you keep doing this to me, man? Yeah, no, come on, come on, come on. You got a little action there. I didn't pop bro, homie. Come on, don't know how fucking talented you are, man. Just tell me what happened when you sat on your face. I mean, it's, it's not like I need to, you know, just, for, just so you can talk it out, you know? Just tell me about, tell me what happened. You've gone over did this. You get a, did you get a little kid boner? You've gone over this enough times, man. It's on every single album. The reason why Just I tell me the story. I love the story. I don't want to tell the damn story. Did her, like, did her pussy stubble, like, scratch your face, like, pop her cheeks, and pop up your eyes? Are you fucked in the head, man? I mean, fuck you, dude. Come on, come on. Come on, J-Dog, come on, come on, man. Come on. He's like, you're so fucking talented, and it couldn't have been that bad, man. It was like, you know what? At least, you know, I wasn't a dude. I was just a chick, you know? She grinded all over. She grinded on your face. That's what happened, right? She sat on your face. She just kind of fucking pulled her fucking panties aside. Why would she fucking, fucking, fucking stop? Mouth. Like her fucking name and her asshole was all in your nose. She had like little little pieces of fucking toilet paper stuck to her ass hair. Fuck man, there's more action than I was getting when I was five, you know what I mean? What the fuck am I even supposed to say to that? Why, man? Come on, why? Why? What? Was she ugly? Was she ugly? Come on, she wasn't ugly, was she? Not really. Come on, come on. You know, fuck. You're getting laid at five Shut and you're complaining? What the fuck's wrong with you? Oh, I don't have a fucking problem. Fucking you mean fucking your head? You know how talented you are? Shit, man, I would take one for the team if it made me as talented as you are, but apparently you don't even know how talented you are. Come on, it wasn't that bad. You got a picture of her? You have a picture of yourself? What? I mean, I don't understand. She was a, it was a woman. I don't understand what's so Get bad. Get out of here. You're not going to fucking finish the song. You're not going to do it. You're no. the one fucked in the head. I'm not fucked. There's nothing fucking wrong with me. Okay? Everything's I'm wrong not, with I'm you. I'm not the one that's fucked up. You're like, oh, what are those sexy songs about being a sexy kid? Yes. Fuck you. I wish fuck. I'll finish the fucking song. Oh, what was wrong with what? You're a little faggot? You're a little faggot, aren't you? Now you're fucking crying and I pulled up in the fucking corner of the recording booth like a fucking bitch instead of finishing my fucking song. I want my fucking song. To, I want every fucking detail. I want to know everything that went through your mind. I want to no. be you. Your fans want to be you. No. You're crying because you don't even know how talented you really are. You know you're my favorite person to work with. You're so fucking talented. Like a little faggot.
I know I told myself that I wouldn't get upset, and it's all in the past, but you turned some of my oldest friends against me. Because you're a pathological liar and a borderline sociopath. And not one of those cool, charismatic ones from the TV and the movies, nah. You take the minimum acceptable outcome for manipulation with the literal least amount of effort you can possibly put forth. And that's alright though, because if you're always looking for the next best thing, pretty soon you're gonna be like one or two rungs from the ground. And by the way, did your husband get that divorce yet? I think the government doesn't take too kindly to bigamy in these parts. Have you ever run away from the problems in your life? Always try to place the blame. Just cause something wasn't right Thank you. 
said, your pops had a heart on him and he looked real mad Because he kicked me, beat me up, he threw me in the back of his truck When it came to us in a field of corn, your dad took his pants off and he whispered in my ear stand together and we use the power of love. Come on everyone, raise your hands together and clap. Come on everyone, join in. I'll only stick the head in. Clean off. I'm the Don Freak from the Beethoven movies, and I 